Good evening and welcome to the Princess Charlotte Hall in Egham, where there's an atmosphere of hushed expectancy as we wait for Sir Gilbert Vaughan Evans to make his entrance for this second public performance in Egham of Humpmeister's Little Known Second Symphony. <laughs> well, as I say, we are waiting for Sir Gilbert and, uh, and if anything, the atmosphere is even more hushed uh, than it was when I, uh, when I last mentioned it. <laughs> in fact, just a few seconds I have to tell you that, as is stated in the programme, uh, that, um, that Sir Gilbert uh, Vaughan Evans is, of course, the conductor, and uh, it is he who will be uh, conducting the orchestra. <laughs> Any moment now. Ah, and yes, yes, uh, uh, here comes in person that well-known immaculate figure of the, uh, of the man who's come to sweep the platform. <laughs> Nice gesture, that, suggesting perhaps that uh, a new broom has swept through the whole world of early Slovenian Baroque music. <laughs> All the platforms dirty. <laughs> um, <clears throat> uh, well, perhaps the, the thing that is best known about Humpmeister's uh, little-known Second Symphony is the fact that it is, uh, it is a little-known. Uh, it is, interestingly enough, even more little-known in his native Slovenia, where it is, it is not known at all. <laughs> I, I think I've just time to tell you, yes, yes, I'm sure I've just time to tell you, that, that Humpmeister's Second Symphony was, was written, uh, uh, and what's more, it was written between his first and his third symphony, which, which came afterwards. Uh, Humpmeister was, was born, uh, I believe, yes, he was, yes, he was. Uh, and shortly afterwards uh, came, uh, came his, uh, his death. Which, uh, which followed almost uh, his life, uh, almost immediately, and, and it was, of course, largely during his life that he did write his second symphony. Uh, and, now, and, and now, yes, yes, the lights are dimming, and we see the dim, uh, dim figure of the, uh, of the electrician dimming the lights. Uh, recalling, perhaps, uh, how much the, uh, the young Humpmeister used to enjoy switching the light off before, uh, uh, before whatever he used to do. Uh, I expect so, anyway. It, it might be relevant to point out that when Humpfmeister conducted in Vienna, he, he had one of the finest lady violinists in, in the world, and, uh, and so did nearly everybody else. <laughs> it's just a, just a small observation to while away these few seconds, or indeed, uh, indeed hours, while we wait. Uh, this unexpected delay does give me a golden opportunity to tell you a bit more about the, uh, the Princess Charlotte Hall in Egham, here in Egham. Uh, the Princess Charlotte Hall was opened by Princess Charlotte Hall when she was uh, in Egham, and uh, <laughs> interestingly enough, it is the largest hall called the Princess Charlotte Hall in Egham. <laughs> Princess Charlotte Hall was, of course, the sister of uh, uh, Prince Albert Hall. <laughs> Isn't there any sign of it? No sign, no sign. Uh, it, it is interesting to, no to note that Humpmeister died in the very year that uh, uh, Beethoven w was already dead. <laughs> It's a pity because Beethoven uh, would have appreciated Humpmeister's second symphony uh, if he hadn't been uh, deaf <laughs> and dead. Uh, and so Gilbert uh, Vaughan Evans is, of course, the son of that distinguished uh, father, the late uh, Evan uh, Vaughan Evans, uh, but not as, not as late as he is. He's, uh, he's always damn well late. By the time he gets here, he's always three parts Brahms and Liszt. <laughs> List was born in 1811, was always putting on clean underwear, hence he was known as Laundry List. <laughs> Brahms had short arms and lived on farms, and the handle <laughs> fell in love with the candle till it got on his wick. <laughs> and lighting up, uh, lighting up time is, uh, is 8.32. <laughs> and uh, and oh, oh my God, the concert's in the Princess Charlotte Hall in Isha. <laughs> In, uh, I'm in fact in, in the wrong hall. What? Uh, uh, this this concert, uh, concert is, is, is apparently Heidi Svensson's Swedish All Girls Orchestra. This does give me an unexpected opportunity to tell you that this is the very first time a BBC announcer has been sacked live on TV in England <laughs> during a performance of Humpmeister's Second Symphony in Isha. So good night and. <laughs>